Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today uh, I'm going to do a completion review on my flying owl and a kitten down. So let's have a look at the canvas first. Now this one was from Fan Cells, um, it was one I bought last year, I think last September. Um, I've got the date here, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, 3rd of September last year I received it. Uh, 19 colours all round. Um, yeah, it's it actually looks better on camera than it does in real life. Um, it is a little bit small. It was one of um, when I was stocking up last year when I was really um, getting quite a stash and I've decided I'm trying to do some of my older canvases first. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, it's a bit strange colours. Uh, again, on the camera, it doesn't really look as strange. I seem to be going through a phase of ones where I don't like that colour, but I'm doing them as is at the moment. I know I can change them out. Um, he's poured glue and rounds, and I think it took me two nights to do him. Um, after struggling for ages <coughs> with the square I've been doing, um, which again was a 30 by 40, but that was a true 30 by 40. This is a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, it, uh, it just seemed to flow really, really quickly, and I just did it really quickly. So it was quite nice to do. Um, but yeah, I just think this sort of like pink salmon colour just really doesn't go at all. Um, I don't know whether a beige colour would have been better. I know we've got like the background for the sky. It's a night sky and he's flying through the night sky. Um, and I say it does look better on camera actually than it does, you know, with the buildings and everything and the silhouette and the pink night sky. But this, I don't know if you can see it if I go close up. Yeah, you can. This pink salmon colour just really seems out of place and just seems to jar with me um, as to the colour of it. I just, I may replace it with the beige colour. I may go back and do it. But at the moment, this one will just go in my portfolio. Um, I'm not going to be framing it and putting it on the wall. But it was nice to do and I enjoyed doing it. And at the end of the day, we don't have to put all our pictures on the walls. We don't have to do something with them all. Um, just the enjoyment of doing it is great fun. And that's what it's all about. It's my relaxation. I love diamond painting, just sitting there. Television's on. I can chat to hubby and everything as well. Um, we'll watch a lot of quizzes and answer the quiz questions. And I can do that while I'm diamond painting. You know, um, usually end up with the dog sat on my knee as well. Or sat on my shoulder or sat on my feet. Like whichever way I'm sat. But yeah, it is pretty. Uh, it does need to be bigger. Um, but I don't wouldn't like it bigger with these colours. It, it just... Mm. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, let's get kitted down then. So let's get box number one out with all my uh, drills in, spare drills. This is my drill storage. It um, is inspired by Rebecca. Uh, add more zest for kids at 147 and it's the best that I've come across if you've got your own way of doing it that's brilliant too but this is the way I like to keep my spare drills and um, I have a little index card with the drill number the DMC number on it and behind that card I have a little nice thick plastic bag with a square stick of squares and a round stick of a round and that's how I like to keep mine and put them all away oh excuse me I'm just gonna have to grab a drink. I haven't got a drink so I won't grab a drink. <laughs> okay right so let's see what the first number is or oh, let me grab a tray. I don't want to be uh, spilling you know me. Liz the spiller. <laughs> okay so what number do we start at? What end did I start at on these? 152 so we look for 152 behind the card and it's around and we'll pop it in here. Yeah. So how's everybody doing? Hope you're all uh, okay at the moment with the hot weather and the floods and everything that have been going on um, have uh, not affected you too badly and uh, that you're all doing well. One, five, four. Uh, we had quite a rainstorm the other night. Oh, that's the squares. Don't put them in the squares, Liz. Because I've just cutted down an old square one that I've been doing. Now I've just put it in the wrong slot. Oh, I get a thinking. Right. It's got a, an interloper in there. Look, it's got an escapee. 
but it can stay in there and join the like burgundy party. I don't mind. Right. Yeah, we had quite a storm the other night and uh, I looked out of the window and there's a pigeon in the road and it's like half sat in a puddle and at first I thought, oh, it's having a shower in the uh, rain shower. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, what colour is that one? One six six is that yet? Yeah. And uh, but then as I was watching him, no, that ain't one six six. That must be one six eight, is it? Let me have a look. Yeah, it's one six eight. Yeah, <laughs> helps when you've got a few crystals uh, of that colour already in, because you can sort of compare the colour a little bit, and make sure you're on the right track. Particularly when you've got eyesight like mine. Oh dear. So yeah, there's this pigeon and then when I looked it's sort of like it's holding its wing and it's sort of like oh couldn't quite get its wing up and it it looked in trouble and I thought oh no and I said to Big oh there's a pigeon it looks like it's either been attacked by a cat or it's flown into something or it's you know cars hit it or something and he said oh well it'll be all right it'll fly off and I'm like no no, no I can't just leave it there so it's throwing it down you'll get so and I can't just leave it there and I'm watching this Right, that's it. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and rescue it. So how on earth are you gonna rescue a pigeon? So I went into the garage and I got a cardboard box ready and I opened all the garage up and then we were looking around for uh, some sort of like gloves to put on. Um, we have like disposable gloves. Could we find? We can never find anything in this house. You'd think there's eight people living in this house. The way things just disappear. Uh, but. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't find them. So I ended up with two little plastic bags on my hands, ready to go and get this pigeon. I opened the front door. It had the front door open and flew off. <laughs> I can't believe it. My yeah, hubby's like, I told you it'd fly off and it'd be all right. <laughs> I'm like, but it looked really poorly. And what if a cat? Got it, I couldn't sit there and watch a cat get it while it couldn't fly away. I said, well, it could fly away, it flew away. So, but anyway, I mean, it was a happy ending, but yeah, it's a good job I'd not got any further out of the door, isn't it? If I'd have got right up to it and it'd have flown away, I can imagine. So, I think the neighbours are quite amused with me. <laughs> they probably think, what on earth is she going to be up to next? Oh dear fun and games but I couldn't see a cat get a bird I mean I know it's nature um, and I know cats do chase and play with things um, but I don't want to see it and if I do see it then you know try and do something about it what I was going to actually do with the pigeon once I'd got it into the garage and into a cardboard box I had no idea whether I thought I could turn into Dr Doolittle and tell it everything was going to be okay and I would nurse it to health I don't know just wanted to get it out of the road and away from uh, anything that could hurt it. Oh dear. Fun and games. <laughs> right, 414. I'm going to get these put away strange colours of those owls. We do have um, a couple of owls that live uh, somewhere around us because we do hear them on a night. And uh, something I learnt ooh, in recent years. Uh, was that if you hear an owl go to it to woo, then it's actually two owls, it's not one, because one does the to wit and the other one does the to woo to answer it. So there you are. If you didn't know that, you do know. <laughs> I've got a friend um, whose brother is uh, a brilliant bird watcher. He takes some fantastic photographs. Uh, I don't have the eyesight for being able to spot birds. Um, unless they're right up to me and sort of like the common varieties I don't really know what they are uh, we do feed the birds and at the moment oh my goodness we went through um, a box of 50 fat balls in like five days so I'm, I'm restricting them now I'm not completely filling them up I'm just putting bits out because well a the costing us a fortune and b I mean it's summer there should be plenty of food around but they're obviously thinking oh well, why do we need to go hunting when somebody's putting all this food out for us <laughs> Uh, and the babies are all grown up now. Um, the starlings that we have, they uh, seem to be all getting their little flecks now, the little spots on the wings and everything. So they don't need the food anymore. They're big enough to go and find their own. 
I found that the, the birds don't like frosties though. Um, we had some frosties in the bottom of a packet, you know, when you tip them out of the boxes and then there's some get underneath the box and there's always a few left. So I thought, oh, I won't waste those. I mean, I don't like waste. Um, and I put them out for the birds. The birds don't like frosties. They're all still on the bird table. So that'll be a job for this afternoon, going and cleaning the bird table, <laughs> get rid of the frosties. Oh dear. Millie doesn't like them even. Millie's... Um, doesn't like anything that's that sweet at all. If you dropped, say, a chocolate or anything on the floor, she wouldn't eat it because she really just does not like. She's very fussy. She likes dog food, um, and she likes her dog treats. She's got her favourites in her dog treats. Box number two, yeah. But uh, human food, unless it's sort of like fresh meat or something, then she really doesn't like it. Oh, she does like carrots. She'll fight you for a carrot. Not cooked carrots, she'll eat cooked carrots, but if you've got a raw carrot, she'll uh, fight you for the carrot. <laughs> She's a funny dog. Alright, 762 we said, didn't we? 762, there it is. Oh, this is getting quite full. So, yeah, it's uh, not frosties. They've eaten cornflakes in the past. I think it must be maybe the sugar. Maybe they've got a bit. Well, they will have a different smell because of the sugar. But um, I would have thought when it's the old ones and they're, they're sort of the end of the packet and they're a bit soggy. Right, so maybe they wanted the fresh ones. I don't know. Maybe they think you're not giving us your old junk. Why should we eat it if you're not? <laughs> All right. Is that eight, two, three? Eight, two, three. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a dark blue there. In there. Right. Oh dear, Millie's heavy breathing again. It's uh, cooler today, but it is very, very humid. 825. Yeah, 825. Yep, not many of those. Getting a few different colours. So I like the blues and everything in this picture. It's just that salmon pink colour. Just whoa. I think I am gonna have to change it. I'm gonna have to sit and pick all those off and put a different colour on. I know that it just even a grey would look better. But I think maybe a beigey colour. Mm. Eight to six. Just something's gone wrong in the colour conversion and the charting possibly. It's not so bad in the um, sort of clouds in the background, but on the owl's wings and on its beak, it just somehow doesn't look right. Minnie, what are you doing? Don't be licking me diamond paintings, you'll tip all the stick off. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my um, big A1 size folio out. I keep it between my mattress with all my paintings to do. Um, and I've had one of those days where I thought, I'm just going to get them all out and have a look. So I've been having a bit of a scoop through. Oh, we need to go into box number three now. So that's box number two done. So it's uh, laid on the bed at the moment next to Millie. And I thought she'd be okay and she wouldn't touch it. And on the whole, she's not. But for whatever reason, she's now decided she wants to start licking it. Which is a strange thing to do. She's maybe telling me it's uh, her dinner time and she wants feeding. So she's saying, well, if you don't feed me, I'm going to start eating whatever's closest to me. Which just at the moment happens to be my diabetes. <laughs> oh dear. All right, so it's three, three, seven, one. And now she's scratching the bed. Oh gosh, she's going to start fighting. I've got some soft toy Scotty dogs on the, um, sat at the top end of the bed. And, uh, I think she might just go and start having a, a fight with them. She's demanding attention, shall we say. Three, six, or seven. It is a lovely hot pink, like this colour. I don't mind this colour on the painting. It's just that salmon colour. Sorry, I'm going on about it, aren't me. Shut up, Liz. Cat 
I do to like everything that you do. Some diamond paintings you do like more than others. Some of them you think, oh, I'm not very keen on this. And when then when you've done it, you think, wow, that's brilliant. I love it. So, yeah, this one. A little bit disappointed. So it just took a couple of nights and I really enjoyed doing it. I'm doing a mini custom of Millie at the moment. Um, if you saw my previous videos, I've got a little tiny 25 by 20, was it, diamond painting. And that's quite nice. 372. I'm just doing that at the moment. 372. Oh, somebody's having something delivered. I can hear a delivery bell. Ooh. Excuse me, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Goodness. <laughs> it's me thinking it's one of the neighbours getting a delivery, and it wasn't. It was us getting a delivery. Uh, we've got our second dustbin. Uh, we have like a green bin for general waste, and uh, all the clinical waste that the nurses use have to go into that bin. And of course, it gets quite full because <laughs> they come every day. So um, two years down the line of us struggling to try and fit all our waste into the bin, they've now, one of them just happened to mention, uh, well, you can have two bins, did you not know? <laughs> so that's our second bin delivered. Yay! So I can do more diamond painting now because I can just put more rubbish in the bin. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But yeah, it has been a struggle. Um and some weeks we have had to uh, ask the neighbours if we can put some rubbish because if it's not in the dustbin um, the dustbin men don't take it it has to actually be inside the dustbin if you put a bag next to it they don't take the bags they're not allowed to take the bags so health and safety gone mad I think but I'm sure there's good reasons for it and obviously they've got to do as they're told as well so but yeah we've got our extra bin now uh, didn't know it was coming so it's a good job that we've not gone out today um they were supposed to email us and let us know we were just we were told we would have to be approved um and obviously we have been approved because it's arrived <laughs> so there you are so now i've got to find somewhere to put it um i need another number to go on it because you have to put your number on the front of your bin as well otherwise you don't, people won't know it's yours. Um, if ours is the only one uh, that hasn't got a number on it, we'll know it's ours, but yeah, no. Anyway, that's uh, a little bit of excitement for today. We've got a new bin, yay! So there you are, that's owl all kitted up. So yeah, so that's my completed flying owl. Um, it'll be going into my portfolio. I'll cut the edges off and just probably put him on a piece of black A3 card and put him in the A3 portfolio. Uh, I can't reach it at the moment. I've got stuff on top of it, so but I will show you that possibly in another video. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this kitting down and seeing this completed owl with these strange so many pink wings. Uh, if you have, if you press that like button, just lets me know uh, that you've enjoyed it. And if you press the subscribe button, you'll see the next videos uh, and uh, you'll be able to come back and see what we get up to next. So thanks for watching uh, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.